Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Homemade. And today you all, we are making, mm, not my favorite cake, but it is one of my favorite. And it is a double chocolate cake. Because we are doing a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. And you all, this cake is so easy and so simple to make. Of course, you all know that I have a base recipe for almost every cake that I cook. And I just add these extra flavors in it to make the cake whatever flavor I'm cooking. So for this particular cake, we are going to alter our one, two, three, four recipe just a little bit. Instead of using one cup of milk, we are going to use, and if you can see it, I have two thirds cup of two. Instead of using one cup of milk, we are going to use two third cups of milk. It is at room temperature. Instead of using two cups of sugar, we're going to use three cups of sugar because we do want our cake to be sweet and the cocoa does give it a bitter taste. So we are going to up our sugar. So we have two and a half cups of self-rising flour, one half cup of all-purpose flour. And since I put the all-purpose flour in there, I will use a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, if, even if you do a half a tablespoon, that's totally fine because you still want to get those rising ages in there. I still will use my four eggs. And we're also going to add in a few extra things. Now, you know, typically I would put shortening in my cakes. This time we are going to use just some regular vegetable oil. And right here I have one half cup of just regular vegetable oil. We are going to use a cap full of just white vinegar. So a cap full of white distilled vinegar. We are using two tablespoons of our vanilla flavor. And for our cocoa, which is going to make our cake the chocolate cake. Now, if you'll see, I am using black cocoa. The darker your cocoa, the darker your cake. And I am going to mix in just some regular um, brown cocoa, I guess you could say. So in all, I use three-fourths cups of cocoa. I use one-half cup of my black cocoa because I do want this to be a darker cake and I used one fourth cup of just my regular cocoa. Now instead of greasing and flouring our pans as I typically do this time I will spray it with just my Pam's nonstick spray. If you want to grease and flour that is totally fine and in this recipe we are going to add our coffee. So we're going to add three fourths cup cups of hot coffee and I do not have it pictured here because I want the coffee to be as hot as it possibly can be once I add it into my mixture and we'll add that in at the very end. So let's go ahead and get started and just to show you how easy this is I'm going to make this one with my hand mixer. So we'll go ahead and get started creaming. And I didn't mention, you all, we are still using our two sticks of Imperial because we don't want the cake to be dry. We do want it to be a very moist chocolate cake. So I'll put that in. I'm going to go ahead and before I add my sugar in, I'll go ahead and cream my oil and my imperial together let's start it out on low to medium speed because we don't want that oil to splatter everywhere now I set it up a little bit just to break up my imperial and you all my imperial is at room temperature now i will add in my sugar and i'll go ahead and add it all in at one time We'll just cream that for a few minutes. We kind of want to get it as fluffy as we possibly can. Cream this for a few minutes. And I do want you to see the texture of it. It is nice and creamy. So now we'll add in our eggs. And you are, we're going to add in our eggs two at a time. And you just want to keep mixing this until 
your egg disappears, but you don't want to over mix it. Now we are going to rotate. We are going to rotate our flour, our cocoa, and our milk. And we're just going to put these in in two increments. So I'll put in half. I'll put in half. And I will put in half. I have not added in my vanilla yet because I want to add that in towards the end. Now we are going to put in our cap full of vinegar. Now, if you don't like coffee, even though you won't be able to tell, you can use hot water. The coffee taste is not so overpowering in the cake. So now our cake is done. Just want to make sure you spray it really good. All right, so we're going to pop these into the oven for 25 minutes. Our cakes have cooked and they've cooled. And I did cook my cakes for about 28 minutes and you all you see how soft those sides are is because i did use the cake strips now there will be a link to the cake strips if you don't have them they are a game changer they are a game changer so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our chocolate frosting and it is so simple you all now i don't call this a buttercream because i don't use butter in this recipe i actually use blue bunnit margarine but the taste is so good so what i'm gonna start off doing i am going to cream the margarine and just kind of break it up in there before i put in my powdered sugar i'm going to put in my powdered sugar now we are not going to use four cups of powdered sugar uh, for this recipe we'll only use about three cups we're gonna go ahead add in our vanilla and we're also going to add in our cocoa i've mixed about one third cup of hot coffee, one cup of milk, and I just use a 10 ounce pack of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I'm going to mix this together. Oh, and I like to pour just a little bit in at first. And we're gonna use that to get our frosting to a creamy mixture. So scrape down the sides and we're going to let this sit for about three minutes. But this is our chocolate cake and look how soft our icing is look how creamy it is like subscribe share our channel if you want to keep seeing these easy homemade recipes as I always say, cooking is as easy or as hard as you make it. But I promise you, if you keep it simple, just be yourself, life in itself can be so much easier. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Homemade. And until next time, continue to be great. And I'm about to finish this cake. Mm.